Hello and welcome to GMAX Studios. My name is Gorky M and in this video, we will try and figure out what a histogram is and how to read it. One thing that we need to get our heads around is the fact that though in normal parlance, the camera takes a photograph, but what it actually does is capture the data from a scene and visually represents it back to us. Now every photograph or video that is captured can be divided into three parts, which is highlights, midtones, and blacks. But what exactly are these highlights, midtones, and blacks? Let's take a look. The brightest part of an image is referred to as a highlight, and the blacks are obviously black. The tone between highlights and blacks are called midtones. So if we were to perfectly expose a white card, the histogram would look something like this. And if we were to expose an 18-person grey card, the histogram would look something like this. And for black, it would look something like this. Now all of them together. So the histogram in effect is a graph which shows us the distribution of the highlights, midtones and blacks in any given photograph or scene. So depending upon the photographic situation, we should try to the best of our ability that the histogram is not pressed too much to the left or to the right because this will mean that there is no information in the blacks or in the highlights. But it's another matter entirely if this is the kind of look that you are trying to achieve. To see the histogram on a camera, you have to press the info, the I or the display button. And also after you have taken the picture, you can see it by pressing the up arrow or the down arrow button. So some people argue that in today's world where there is a monitor built at the back of every camera, why use a histogram at all when you can use the monitor to check your exposure? Well, there are three reasons. The first is that the monitor at the back of a camera is not calibrated very accurately. In fact, it might differ from model to model. Number two. The picture profiles that we are using to capture the photograph might also give us an inaccurate representation of the exposure and cause some misjudgment to happen. Number three, if you are shooting in bright sunlight, it is practically impossible to see the monitor at the back of a camera. Therefore, the histogram is an accurate way of finding out whether you have managed to get the right exposure or not and whether your highlights and blacks are in control. Now there is a misconception that there is something like the perfect histogram which kind of looks like this. But this is not true. In real life situations, sometimes your photographs will have more of highlights. And in some situations, your photographs will have more of blacks. The only thing is that you need to be aware of this. For more videos like this on photography and filmmaking, subscribe to our channel GMAX Studios and share this video with your friends. Until the next time, bye-bye.